Hi guys, it's Shell, Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, like this video, comment, and share. So today I am making a couple of projects for my grandson's bedroom. So I'm using this shadow box from like last year and I'm using this scrap piece of wood and I'm gonna lay it on top and trace it. And um, I'm not gonna paint the entire box because it's not necessarily because this piece of wood's gonna be on top. So I'm tracing it exactly where I want it to be so I know where not to paint. Using my Crimson Waverly Chalk Paint, I paint the entire box except for the portion that I don't need to, and I will also paint the spare piece of wood. I also paint this other piece of um, wood. All of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree, except for the light switch, which all I do is paint that red. Now I'm going to paint this um, Jenga block from the Dollar Tree, and I didn't have any gold paint, so what I used was some Folk Art Sterling Silver and some Waverly Hazelnut, and mixed the two and got myself gold paint. And I'm going to paint um, some of these stickers from the Dollar Tree in that gold paint as well because I figured I would go ahead and go this route since not everybody has a silhouette or cricket. And honestly, I just didn't feel like um, doing that. Um, so now here I'm going to paint an arrow at the bottom of that spare wood piece after I had glued it on. And what I'm making here is a fire alarm um, box. And so I'm just gonna keep continuing to go over my letters until I get the desired effect of them being gold. I also take some of that gold paint and just go along the edges of the box as well. To make sure that the letters stick, I use some Mod Podge and um, I am spelling out fire alarm on the top and I use Mod Podge to make sure that the letters stay down. And then the bigger letters that I um, painted over says push. Just glue that jingle block on the top there and that project is done 
So now back to my sign, I take the gold paint and I just outline the entire sign. I do go over it twice so that I get the desired effect that I want. For this one, I did use my silhouette and cut out in the gold vinyl. Um, I cut out the um, like the firefighter logo, and it says fire station, and then um, and it says Chief Jack. So now I'm just going to take some of my transfer tape and place it over my vinyl so that I can transfer the vinyl from the carrier sheet to my sign. And this is what it's looking like so far, but I wanted to add a little bit of bling to it, like the little half pearls, but I'm gonna paint those black um, just to look like it's bolts or something on the wall. And then I was looking at it, still needed some more things to it so I decided to go in with a skinny skinny um, sharpie and just sort of um, give it a shadow effect on the letters to help make those letters pop and I really think that worked. And there it is. I love it. I definitely think that this is absolutely perfect. So I have this hanging over his bed and I think it's perfect. And here's his fire alarm sitting next to his nightlight. I can't wait to show everybody the rest of his room. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.